three things that you need to avoid when you are planning to buy a new construction house. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor, EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to show you my three things that you need to avoid when you are planning to buy a new construction house. This is important guys. As you know, I am a new construction specialist here in Central Florida. And also, I have experienced, not just for me specifically, I have experienced these three things that I'm going to show you here in this video. And this is important because if you don't plan ahead, you are planning to buy a new construction house this new construction house could be a big problem in the future so you make sure to watch this video from the start until the end it's because i'm gonna give you these three things which is important not just important which is that you need to think about it before buying a new construction house all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and also share this video to all your family and friends especially for those people who's planning to buy a new construction house anytime soon, all right? So without further ado, let's jump into it. First tip that I'm gonna tell you what you need to avoid when you are planning to buy a new construction house is the property taxes, okay? Property taxes, why property taxes is important? Here, I'm gonna give you some example why this is important. If you are planning to buy a new construction house, okay? The new construction house, what they are going to do is they are going to build your house from the scratch, okay? Sometimes the new construction house is already built there for you and all you need to do is you can just move in there or quick move in they call it okay here is the deal when you are buying a new construction house with the property taxes sometimes the new construction house the property taxes they don't put that property taxes on your new construction house until this new construction house or the new construction house community not just your house the whole community is fully built all right what do you mean about that if the community is fully settled they don't build anything else so what will happen from your property tax sometimes they will only put on your property tax only for a thousand dollars annually which will cost you probably less than a hundred or you know sometimes hundred dollars a month okay that's normal however after a year or maybe two years time what will happen is then your property tax will go boom high why because the property tax or the taxes in your property is not fully executed it's just because of you know they don't know what is in your property right now they cannot calculate the proper tax and proper tax until this fully house is fully built especially the community okay you need to remember this because this is important sometimes when you see the property tax is only showing 600 bucks a year or sometimes it could be like a thousand dollars a year which is good but this is the tip for you if you are planning to buy this house get a property which is in that community which is already built or let's say this property is building in this community for 2023 and then find a similar property which is the same of the size of the property and also the same layout you can and then what you need to do is go to the property or the county website okay this is important once you go to the lake county or the county website you need to get how much this property is paying for the property tax so what will happen next is you will find there how much property tax is paying this particular property compare to your property okay so if you found how much this property paying and then that's the one you're gonna pay after you are fully settled in your new construction house okay this is important this is huge because sometimes what people experience they only paying oh this is only like hundred dollars a month which is not bad all right which is true it's not bad but after a year or maybe two years could be triple that or maybe times four or times five you will pay 400 bucks a month because of the property tax because the property is fully built right so you need to think about that one property tax is important all right my number two that you need to avoid is the cdd okay what is the cdd now rj cdd is very common here in central florida we have hoa as you know hoa is good because they will maintain your community like the grass or the street or the street light swimming pool area you know creation area in your community which is good that's that's the job of the hoa however 
However, apart from HOA, they have additional which is the called CDD. This is the Community District Development. I'm not sure if I said it right, but you know, we will ask Google for that one and we will find it. However, this CDD is very crucial because sometimes what you see on HOA, this is what they do. The community, not the community some builder do, they have like a little bit cheaper on your HOA, they will probably say, oh, the HOA here is only $10 a month, okay, which is cheap, right? However, if you don't look on the contract that you are going to sign, how much will be the CDD, and then you will be shocked after you close the property, why I have to pay this extra? What is the purpose of the CDD, okay? So let me just tell you about the job of the CDD, okay? The CDD is like an HOA in your community. However, if your property is located in the prime area where let's say close to Disney or where is close to something which is the highway where they need to get the road done from point A to point B in your community. They need to have a CDD on that because they need to maintain that road because of the you know the traffic. So to avoid something about CDD you need to make sure that this particular community has no CDD. Only HOA because sometimes if it's has HOA that is enough to pay you know to get the community done and also paying a CDD or extra for CDD which is good sometimes however do you really need that one it's an extra probably hundred bucks a month or two hundred dollars a month would you rather pay that or would you rather just pay one which is the HOA let me know in the comment box right so how to find the community if as a CDD okay. before you go or at least sign a contract with this particular property you need to ask the listing agent or the agent who's selling the property in that particular community. Ask them, do they have CDD? And if they say yes, ask them how much would be the CDD. And also, if they say this, and if you're happy about it, go for it. Sometimes they don't tell you until you sign them. And then once you sign there, you already paid your deposit. And also, everything is good. And then you found out last time or last minute, you say, oh my God, what is this? Why I have to pay this? Okay, make sure you remember that one because this is important this is crucial otherwise you know it could be a problem for you okay let's go to my last one which is my last tip or my third tip that you need to avoid when you are planning to buy a new house okay here is the tip that i would like to show you or tell you what you need to avoid is the rules and regulation of the community okay. what is the rules and regulation now rules and regulation is very important here especially if you are living in the community with the hoa which i have said earlier okay the job of the HOA is to get the community clean, get the community nice, get the community organized, and make sure there's no trouble, there's no problem with the community. That's why you are paying them extra, okay? So, if they have rules and regulation that you need to follow to make sure this community are doing well, what you need to find out, what kind of rules and regulation. I will give you one example. Some community, they don't accept a commercial vehicle. If you are a business owner, you have a business a commercial business or a commercial vehicle that you need park in the community make sure check your rules and regulation in that community first otherwise could be a problem how could you park your business vehicle or a car or whatever you need to do for your business if you cannot park in the community you know you need to use that com vehicle you know to make some money to pay for your mortgage right so before you ever buy a community not community buy a new construction house make sure the rules and regulation you know what they have okay it's also a bonus one sometimes in a new construction community after you live there let's say you live there for five years okay and you need to renovate your let's say here of your property your house you want paint a different color outside of your house and then you decided like i'm gonna paint this one and then once you paint your house you have a letter from either hoa or in the community saying you have a fine fine of why did you paint the house in different color this is against on the community you have paid this all right what would you feel about that all right you will feel like man you will feel angry right because you will say this is my property i will do whatever i want yes you can do whatever you want but
what you sign the contract this this is the rules and regulation of the community or let's say the hoa that you cannot do anything about in your exterior house right does it make sense so make sure to check these three things because if you don't who will suffer in the future you right or if not what will happen or what will be going is you will probably sell your property it's just because you will feel like this is too much you cannot do whatever you want even though you own the property right instead of you are enjoying your property you will feel like you have limited of the what you can do in your property all right so i hope this video is helpful and useful and also if you are planning to buy a new construction house make sure that you consult with your realtor okay not just me you know whoever you're gonna work with because they know all this stuff they can review everything for you like i do to my clients i check if there's a hoa i check if there's a cdd i check how much with the tax will be how much they're gonna pay in the future after a year or two years you know that is the importance of having a realtor especially for the realtor who's specializing in new construction right and then you know how to find me inbox me call me or text me or email me you know i will be happy to help you so this is the video for today i hope this video is helpful and useful if you stay in this video until this end i know it's a long video comment down below cdd so i can see how many people who doesn't want the cdd and also who wants to buy a new construction house here in central florida so i'll talk to you soon once again thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video peace what is going on guys <coughs> excuse me <laughs> let's do it again part two <laughs>